Welcome back to What's on My Needles, and this week I am going to take this prototype and turn it into a much more normal looking hat. Uh, so this is based off of a hat design from a video game that my husband and my sister play. Uh, these are the colors that my daughter wanted. And that's fine. She's allowed to have what she wants. But... This is very much for a little one. This is going to be for the adults. So I'm going to make the hat like out of this yarn for my sister. And so it's going to be one size bigger, which ultimately means eight stitches around bigger than this one. And then, it, so there'll be a little bit of a, slightly different look at the indentations. So when I roll down the brim, you'll notice that it doesn't roll down all the way. Like I can't pull that apart. That's because I actually knit that roll in so that it would give the right distance for that brim. So I'm gonna go ahead and get set up to cast on and, and then we will get going. So be back in just a second. So I've gone around to make the brim. And I've started to actually knit the brim up so that it folds over nicely. I'm going to leave most of the stitch markers in place for this, not because I need them, but because it's really convenient to actually be able to count stitches later. And it's a nice way to hold them in place. So I'm going to tip this up just a little so for a slightly better framing. So I'm going to go ahead and, and um, put my right needle through, the, so not the next cast on hole, but the one after that. And then knit that stitch and then pull through. And then purl. And then again, I'm going to skip that next one, go into the one after it, and pull through. And it's going to just be like that all the way around. And then the next part is to do the increase. So most of you are if you've been with the channel for a while, you you know that the increases here are going to be a lifted increase. But normally my cables are only 2 over 2. These are 3 over 3 with the purl ridge in the middle and another 3 over 3 in the other direction. So instead of only adding 2 stitches, I actually need to add 3 to make those 3 ribs into six stitches. So I will be back in a moment to show you that little bit. So here I am um, several rows up from the folded brim and the brim is all the way connected around. I will be weaving this little end in much later. So it's time to do the increases. So as mentioned before, these are lifted increases increases. So I'm going to knit one, insert my needle into the stitch below it, and knit through that one. And then same thing for the purl bump, except for that one I actually have to go into the horizontal bar. So vertical bar here, and knit. And then I'm going to purl one, and then we're going to do the exact same thing, just in reverse. So I'm picking up the vertical bar to knit, normal stitch, horizontal bar to knit, and then the normal stitch, vertical bar, and then, hor then normal stitch. And then I will be doing the knit purl for the correct number of stitches, which unfortunately I have to go back and count on the original. I believe it is 13, but I 
no better and I it's either 13 or 15 and I know that I need to go back and check or I need to redo my math. So there was a bit of, of an oops and I forgot to come back and show how I did the cables. Um, so I'm going to show how how I do these two cables and then I'm going to take them out and show how I'm actually doing them for this far into the hat because it's actually time to take all those extra stitches out. Um, so normally I use a bobby pin as many of you know but I figured I would show you how to do it with the double pointed needle today just because it is a little bit different. So I slid those three stitches onto one needle slid behind, making sure it is uh, out of the way, and then knitting the three stitches from the left hand needle, and then three stitches from the cable needle or extra double pointed needle. Okay, and from the other side, again, slide on three stitches, this time hold it to the front, knit three, and then in this case I slipped them back. That's more out of habit than anything else. And then knit three. But as said, that is not how this part is going to work because I need to take out three stitches per cable right now. I'm going to take all that out. Now most people do be, be really careful when you're slipping stitches back on that you're not twisting them. Yeah, I don't actually care because I just read my stitches. Um, I am making sure that they're facing the right way, but if they're not, it's not that hard to tell and I typically can go back through and fix it pretty quickly. Okay. So, again, picking up three stitches. holding that needle to the back so it still looks like a cable and then knitting through two. So one stitch from the front needle and one stitch from the back needle. Oops. And of course my back needle fell out. So you do have to be a little careful with this but it does work. So knit two together and then knit two together. So that does in fact make it look like it's still a cable, but instead of having six stitches, I have three. This is also near the very top of the hat, so it's not going to be all that visible underneath the giant pom-pom. Two, three, and hold the needle over there. Knit two together, and knit two together, and one more time. So this is not the only way to deal with that, but it is the way that I like to deal with ending off cables on this particular pattern. And I'm not sure how obvious it is, but the decreases here, we're decreasing two stitches at a time. So part of why the decrease is here is after one more row, this purl line, that's the center, center of that decrease is going to be covered up by the, what used to be the cable stitches. So I'm going to finish off the main body of the hat. And I will be back in a little bit, probably to show off the little extra accoutrement. If you would like to help fund this page, please find me on Patreon at Theatrical Crafts. So 
So it's finally time to work on the little ears for the hat. So I've got my yarn, I've got the first one done. And we're gonna start at the very beginning. So I loop my working yarn on top of the tail, and pull the working yarn through to make a slip knot, and pull that onto the needles. Now I am using double pointed needles because this is small circumference circular need knitting. And I'm going to go ahead and cast on 22 stitches. But let me slow this down just a second. So um, this is how I do it. It is not quite a cable cast on, but it's close. So I insert my needle from through the front leg wrap around the yarn, pull it up, and put it back on the left hand needle. So front leg, wrap around, pull up, place back on the left hand needle. And I'm just going to do that a total of 22 times. So here I am with all of that done, and I've split the stitches onto two two needles. Um, due to how the ear works up, it's not actually useful for it to be on more than two needles. I'm going to go ahead and purl one round. So remember that's a stitch in the front, so you're carrying your working yarn in the front. And this is to create a little ridge at the bottom of the ear. And I could actually see that little ridge on the video game image that the hat was coming from. So if, if you are more comfortable doing this on two circular needles, that is entirely possible. Um, as all of you have seen, I am way more comfortable on double pointed needles for small circumference knitting, but um, using two, cir two circulars to do the same method would work just as well. Um, you'll see at the end why I'm doing this on two rather than doing it on the traditional three or four. And now we get to the boring part. I'm just going to be knitting straight for lots and lots and lots of rounds. So I will be back in just a sec. Okay, so here's the little ear and now it's time to take in the sides. And this is where only having it on two needles is really useful. So I'm going to do an SSK on this side, knit across, And then it's going to be a knit two together on the other side. And then the same on, on the back or the other side of the ear. And then it's going to be knit one row or one round plane and then do the decreases on either end of each side as well or for the row after and repeat those two rows until the very end. Now the the last stitch on or I'll come back for the last stitch because that's a central double decrease. So I'll be back in a little bit. So here's the last little bit and instead of doing a SSK and a knit two together we're going to do both of them at the same time. So I'm going to slip the first stitch, then I'm going to do a, a knit two together for stitches two and three, then pull the first stitch over, do the same thing on the other side, so again slip that first stitch, knit these two together, and then slip the first stitch over. Now in this case, because it's only one stitch per side, I'm going to go ahead and pull the yarn, 
So I'm going to act like I'm going to knit, but I'm going to just pull the yarn all the way through. And same thing with the second stitch. So now I've got two little ears that will go on to the hat. Um, I need to go find buttons and then I will, then there will be a reveal. Be right back. And here is the final hat. Um, so the ears are only sewn on with that button and even then they're tied in a bow on the inside. I'm not sure if this is how it would be if I'm selling normally, but this is how it's going off to its recipient. Um, I happen to know them and I know that if they want it fully woven in and the ears intact and all of that, they will actually just finish it off. Um, so I will see you next time on What's on My Needles. Please remember to like, follow, and subscribe to these social media platforms. Links will be provided in the description below.